Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Volton. I'm pleased to have you guys all here today because this is a very special occasion. Because, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the channel has hit 10,000 subscribers. Seriously, when I started doing YouTube in like 2016, I would have never expected to have reached this moment. I thought it was always going to be a steady growth. But, here we are, at 10,000. That's a huge achievement. I want to thank you guys all for being with me along the way. However, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today. I mean, I play on the flat world, but that's not very special. What could we do? What the fuck? What is this? Yeah, the, I don't know what this is. Uh, I guess it's some kind of portal? Well, well, guys, I don't know what else to do, so... Let's go! The fuck? Uh, uh, okay, so the portal's gone, and I'm in... Okay, 1440, uh... Okay, then, I've traveled back in time. But you know what? This is good. In fact, I mean, we, I've been meaning to build an empire for a while now. What uh, empire do I form, though? Ah, I know. For 10,000 subscribers, we're going to unite Germany as Ulm. You know, a city-state. The one on the thumbnail. I'll show you guys how to turn a small city-state into a big ol' empire that no one can stop. Alright, let's get into it. Now, when you start a new game of Age of History 2, you have technology points. I decided to put all of the ones I could into military upkeep and the rest into money laundering. I was going to need all this for obvious reasons, such as militarism, as obviously unifying peacefully would all be impossible, and I'll need to make my empire by force. Now, with that out of the way, I should get spamming the space bar, so that way I would have enough money to go on my first few invasions. Eventually, with all the saved up money, I was able to form a nice army and invade Augsburg as my first target. I had a lot of leftover troops, so I decided to invade Württemberg as well. And with them out of the way, I annexed both of them, marking it as the first expansion of my new empire. However, my next plan was to invade Baden, as they would be my biggest target yet, having two provinces instead of one. However, the Palatinate to my west decided, hmm, I should invade them. I ended up having to kill them myself, and with a little bit of team from Bavaria, the Platinum was wiped off the face of the earth. That's why I don't interrupt the formation of the Ulm Empire. Now obviously throughout this journey, there were going to be a lot of tough countries to beat, and one of them was obviously going to end up at some point being Saxony. They were already pretty big at the start of the game. However, once Bohemia was defeated by Poland, they ended up launching their own invasion. Not to mention in the south, well, Regions already being dominated by Bavaria and Austria. While Austria I, I can ignore for now, the same cannot be said for Bavaria. And I was going to have to kill them at some point. But considering how strong they are, we're probably not going to be able to wipe them out in just one war. So I decided to focus on some smaller states. I figured I should go for ones that have a lot of industry. So I was eyeing up Frankfurt. But maybe I was talking too loudly or something because then they invaded me. So I ended up having to do a very risky thing of taking out a bunch of loans so I could hire more troops. I was able to win the war, but just barely. I don't recommend this tactic. I decided to continue my general expansion, having captured Nuremberg. However, then I decided to take a look around, and I realized how massive Saxony and Austria had gotten. Austria being massive, stretching through most of Poland after their recent victory. And Saxony, they were able to annex a lot of Eastern Germany. At that moment, I realized I would need to speed up the unification process. So, I quickly militarized and invaded Bavaria. However, as I suspected, I would need multiple wars. So only it took a small portion that included Munich, their capital. Basically meaning there was no way they could resist any future invasions. After that, I focused on some of the more small states, like Würzburg, Mainz, and Trier. And with that, I noticed that my treaty with Bavaria had now expired, so I was able to launch my invasion again. This time, I was powerful enough to completely annex the remnants, meaning southern Germany apart from Austria was now under my influence, along with other western territories that had been captured. However, I realized that I would need to handle Saxony immediately, because if I didn't, then they would grow just too strong and it would not be able to uh, unify Germany under the banner of Ohm. It was a costly war, with us both having a lot of soldiers. However, because of my own tactics, it was me who came out on top. With each success in the military, 
I was able to get more and more income from how much industry I was now controlling. It's a lot compared to how we started. I figured I would focus on Western Germany since that had a lot more warlords. Or I guess just city-states. Of course, because we started in sound, we didn't have CXs for a little while. But eventually, we made it. Now see, if I were to tell you that the rest of unifying Germany was tough, I would be fucking lying. Cause maybe in the beginning when I was making literally no money, yes, it would have been tough. But here's the thing, literally without even spending that much on my military, I still have nearly 10,000 in income. That's not something to scoff at. Apart from me forgetting about Saxony's sovereign holdings, the rest of the unification of North Germany went very smoothly. Just like that, I now annex basically everything I needed to, to officially form the first formable of the video. Alas, I've become the king of Almany. Not Germany, Almany. Hmm. Well then, I've done it. I've united Germany as Alm, but uh, hmm. No guys, I thought we would've been done by now, but I don't feel right. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. You know what I need? I could use a little... <laughs> a little empire, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I really could use an empire. Everyone else in Europe does not know what they're in for. Ulm deserves its empire. Now, building an empire needs to think. Is it better to have puppet seats or just have them directly a part of you? The answer is directly a part of you, of course. So I invaded Bohemia, officially wiping them off the face of the earth once and for all. After that, I occupied Salzburg and began preparing for a war with the Austrians. It was inevitable at this point. And you know what? Austrians are Germans, so it only makes sense that we take them over as a united German. I was expecting Austria to be hard to beat. And they were, but most of the resistance actually did not come from the Austrian heartlands. No, no, no. A lot of it came from their territories in Poland. Nonetheless, I was able to secure the win, but I could not annex everything I wanted from them because... We were actually relatively equal in size. We'll have to do this again at some point. I haven't really made it clear what empire I'm going for here as Omni. So what empire am I going for? The German Empire? Eh, nah, that's too basic. I'm thinking something better. No, 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 I'm thinking like the Holy Roman Empire, which was... It was mostly German, actually. I believe it was Voltaire who said, It is not holy, nor is it Roman, nor is it an empire. Something along those lines. To actually complete this formable, I decided that I would first focus on the east, as that was where I had the least amount of territory to worry about. And that's why I invaded Austria first. While I waited, I put some minor annexations through, and began getting more money to prepare for the next invasion. Soon it was able to begin, but however, Austria had grown in size since then, as they now controlled the rest of Pomerania. I figured the invasion would go smoothly, but to my surprise, province in Burgundy, the good one, would invade from the west. Mingo's now fighting a war on two fronts. That might sound bad, but here's the thing. I'm rich, so I was able to continue the invasion of Austria at the same time as my war against, you know, the Burgundians and the Provincials. Province fell pretty quickly, I was able to annex them. And while Burgundy, they were probably broke because they couldn't really recruit as many troops as me. So I was able to get a peace tree where I got all the lands I would need, but also, I would also get a puppet state out of them. Meaning war on the Western Front was able to close pretty soon. It would take a little more time to knock out the Austrians, but eventually, I got what I needed. Now, I decided Peace Street to just annex everything and then sort it out in a minute. I decided to restore Masavia, but not as a Polish puppet, but as an Almany puppet. The other land I didn't need, I decided to give it to the Polish. Because, well, there's not really a point in holding on to all that land if you don't really need it. I decided to finish out my westward expansions by taking out the Benelux. I had a few territories there that I needed to annex, and I also wanted to make a little puppet state. After that, it was time to focus on the south. A lot of it was being dominated by a country called Castile. Basically, pre pubescent Spain. That's not a sentence I was expect expecting to say. Anyway, now Castile is going to be my biggest target since, you know, Austria. So I decided to get some minor targets out of the way first. First of all would be Brittany, because for some reason they were occupying land that I would need later. So was France. After that, it was time to go to war with Castile. But here's the thing. They actually declared war on me first, because turns out that this entire game, we've had terrible relations. Although I was able to occupy all their Italian holdings and all of southern France, I still couldn't get all the territory I needed for some reason. So I figured, screw it, and decided to just completely invade mainland Spain. 
And for making my life difficult, I decided to partition them a little bit by making some land south independent and also this place called Lyon independent. After that, it was very much smooth sailing. Of course, Rome was occupied by the somehow revitalized Byzantium, but a very short war meant I could now take the city for myself. And then soon enough, it was all mine. Well then, uh, that's everything I needed in the formable for this empire. And not much point expanding now, it's time to just click the button. It's time to declare the Holy Ulmen Empire. Well then, I think we're done here. Hmm, what now? I've formed my empire. Uh, hmm. I think I got this far. Jesus Christ, the, the portal. It's back. Meh, whatever. There's probably no consequence for meddling with the past. It's probably fine. Ah, <sighs> great. It's finally. I'm back. Hey, wait a minute. So I don't feel right. What, new ohm? What? Oh shit! What have I done? <laughs>